Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Christy and today we're gonna do a little bit of a different kind of video. It was brought to my attention by several of you that I have not done a fridge tour or a pantry tour in probably over a year at this point. So today we're gonna do the fridge tour. In an upcoming video, we're gonna check out the pantry again. Now I have done these types of tours in the past. I'm gonna link them up above, down below, so you can go check those out. They are a fun way for you to see what I got going on in my house. And it's also a good way to get suggestions and see other products that maybe you've not seen. Now about two weeks ago, Kerrigan did reorganize and clean out our refrigerator. We picked up some of the organizational bins at Costco. There are tons of them available. I will link some of those below and they are going to be an Amazon link. So you can go see different sizes, different shapes. Organization is huge right now. It's all over all the social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and of course the YouTube. So let's go ahead and take a look at the fridge. But first, if you have not subscribed to my channel, if you could do that, I would really appreciate it. Make sure you do hit the notification bell so that when I upload, you'll know. Check me out over on Instagram. I'll have my name right here. I post on my stories more often than anything else. There's also a Facebook group. I'll link it in the description box. So all you gotta do is click on it. It'll take you right on over. It's called All Things Keto with Christy. 26,000 members. It's an amazing community. Okay, fridge tour. And this is where we start out with our very first disclaimer. I'm not telling you that these foods are healthy and I'm not telling you what to eat. What works for one family may not work for another. So these are just items that are in my refrigerator that are low carb, that are gonna be keto friendly. And if they don't work for you, don't eat them. So do your research. Let's get started. Just a heads up, I do have one of those refrigerators that has a tendency to beep if I leave it open too long. So some of those beeping noises may creep in. So let's pull you in and get up close and personal. Like I said, Kerrigan recently went ahead and reorganized this. It's actually probably been longer than two weeks at this point. But since reorganizing it, we've kept it a lot cleaner and everything has its own place. So I'm loving these organizational bins. This is something, like I said, we picked up at Costco, but I will have several of them linked down below. First row, this is gonna be our miscellaneous bin. And what I put in this one is items that we have a tendency to use most often. This is one of the larger of the little storage bins that you can see. I have sticks of butter in here. We have Duke's mayo. You know, it's my mayo of choice. It's not for everyone because it is soybean oil based, but there's no sugar added. Also in this bin, sour cream. We go through a lot of sour cream in this house. My favorite is gonna be the Daisy. I pick up the large packages of it at Sam's. And then also from Sam's is gonna be these massive cans of white chicken breast. They're just packed in water. I like to keep them in the refrigerator so that when we want something like chicken salad, then it's already cold and I don't have to wait on it. We like our chicken salad cold, but I do love this stuff and we pick it up pretty much every single time we go. And then the last thing in the miscellaneous bin, the most used products, is gonna be our white cheese queso dip, another one of those Sam's items. We put this on keto nachos where we use pork rinds, but honestly, I add this cheese dip to everything. You could make a much cleaner version yourself, but we like it. Easy to get to, right in front of me every single time I open the refrigerator. It's gonna be diet sodas. Yeah, I know. I incorporate diet sodas into my life and they have not hindered my weight loss. I do have the Diet Pepsi. This is the caffeine free. I have Diet Sprite and there's even Diet Dr. Pepper in here. So I do like this little storage bin. I actually feel like I need to get some of these for outside. Yes, we have an outside refrigerator also. If you wanna see me do a tour of that one, it's mostly going to be extra stuff and lots and lots of drinks. We call it our keto drink fridge. If you wanna see that one, let me know in the comments. But this is where I put all my cans. I'm wondering, do they make these where they're longer so that they will accommodate energy drinks? 
I need to do some research on that. I love sugar-free Jello. I have this entire container full and I also have this little container full of the parfaits. Now these are going to be your Winkies sugar-free. I pick them up at Walmart. I talk about them pretty frequently. So up here is the variety pack. We're going to get the lemon lime, the orange, the strawberry, and then you can just add your own whipped topping to it that's sugar-free. So keep those there. And then right here, since you only get an eight pack of the parfaits, I keep it on the second shelf right underneath it. These are something that's probably going to have sorbitol in it. So if that's something sorbitol that you're not interested in, then you may not want to pick these up. But for me, I absolutely adore them. The kids, not so much. Now in the very back, I do have one that is Briley's. There's only one of these left and this is going to be your sugar-free jello. So it's more like your pudding. I do make these occasionally myself. I have a protein pudding that I found on TikTok. I'll link it up here in the cards if you guys want to go watch it. But for convenience and for her to be able to take it to school in her lunchbox, I pick these up sometimes. Then in the very last bin right here, we have all of our keto friendly type of protein shakes. This is one that came in the keto crate. Remember, $10 off your first keto crate if you haven't joined before. And that gives you the ability to sample lots of keto items. We need to do a keto snack drawer tour at one point. It's a disaster. Think junk drawer, but keto snack drawer. And we have three of those. So this one is going to be your chocolate and it is by Genius Gourmet. And then I have some of the other ones by Premier Protein. This one's actually the peaches and cream. I only have two of those left and I did have the strawberry ones, but I just recently used it in a frappuccino, a frappe that I make. I like to take one of these and then either some almond milk, some collagen, some ice, mix them all together and it gives you sort of a milkshake frappuccino type of consistency. You need to try that. You already know that my love for cheese is real. So we have an entire bin just dedicated to cheese products. And in this house, I do shredded cheese. Now, I used to shred it myself because I was trying to stay away from the creepy carbs, but since reaching goal, and even honestly, who are we kidding, way before that, I was buying shredded cheeses just because it's a lot easier. Multiple different types of sliced cheeses. I pick them up at Aldi and also Walmart. We're talking mozzarella cheese slices. We're talking mild cheddar, sharp cheddar, anything that I would possibly want to put on a wrap or a hamburger or hot dog or something like that. I also have my favorite. These are the cheese curds that I pick up at Aldi and they're the jalapeno flavored. Chris said now that he's up in New York, he's found them in garlic and a couple of other varieties. Here we only have the cheddar and the jalapeno. I don't even think we've ever even tried the cheddar. These are delicious, not spicy. I just opened them up, put them in a glass container, but since I've not opened these up yet, I've just left them in here. And then of course we do have lots of cream cheese and I also have some finely shredded mozzarella just in case we do a pizza like a Quest pizza or something like that and I want to add additional cheese to it. Not done with the cheese products yet. <laughs> Not even close. Right here I do have some cottage cheese. I recently picked this up because I do have the Dash Egg Bite Maker and the recipes do call for cottage cheese. I also have some finely shredded Parmesan cheese. I like to keep this on hand in case I make any Alfredo sauces or I want to put it on top of anything like shrimp scampi. Lots of cheese in my house. Eggs staple. This is going to be your Vital Farms. Use them. I used to go ahead and pick up like your 99 cent white eggs, but I started having an aversion to eggs and I felt like they had this sulfur taste to them. And that's when I decided to try the pasture raised eggs and we got hooked on the Vital Farms. At my Walmart for a dozen, they're around $3.98 but it is well worth it. If you think your eggs taste weird or they have this strong sulfur taste, try these. If you have someone in your area where you can pick them up though, like locally, then go that way. 
we don't have that option or at least I don't know anyone. And yes, in this household, we do deli meat. This is gonna be pepperoni slices. I buy the big package of these at Sam's and they are your massive pepperonis. Over here in the door, there's a little package also. But these are great for spreading with like cream cheese and jalapenos and then rolling them up and just having them as a snack. Chris loves to snack on pepperonis. So we've got those. And then I also have some ham because Kerrigan likes ham. I'm not a big fan of deli ham, but this one is gonna be your Hillshire Farm honey ham. And then we also have the Hormel Natural Choice. This is gonna be the double pack. Very bottom row here is going to actually be some fruits. Yeah, my kids eat fruit. I don't have a problem with that. I would rather them eat fruits and veggies than potato chips. So we do have some oranges down here. I also have some cut up limes that we use. And of course, strawberries. We keep strawberries in our house at all time. It's one of Kerrigan's favorite go-to snacks. Right here is the long skinny little storage bin. And what I do here is keep our drinks because they do have a tendency to fall down in my refrigerator. So I have several bottles of water and then I do have some bottles of diet caffeine free Pepsi. Then right in front of that, I keep my next morning's bang so that it is ready to go as soon as I get up. Briley does drink milk, so I do have some of that in here. And in the back, I have a Lazy Susan, and that just makes it easier for me to get a hold of all of the larger items instead of moving every single thing out to get to it. So I have some Silk Almond Milk. This one is gonna be your vanilla, no sugar added. I also have some of the sprinkle Parmesan cheese that I pick up at Trader Joe's. Heavy whipping cream, we use this in our frappuccinos and our iced coffees. We make our own whipped topping occasionally and of course recipes are gonna call for that. And I have apple cider vinegar. But this is always a good idea. We used to have it up top and then I'd have smaller items in it, but I decided to put it down here so that we could get like our milk and our heavy whipping cream, our larger items spun around and get to them a lot faster. My favorite keto item ever, bacon. I love bacon. So this one is the Hormel. I picked this up at Sam's. I can't even find this at Sam's or Costco's or anywhere. Now, this is gonna be your large package. I think there's like 70 some pre-cooked in here. And it was only like between 11 and $13. It is much more expensive at Walmart and you just get a small package of it. So hopefully crossing my fingers, they get it back in soon. And when they do, I'm gonna go ahead and stock up. This does not need to be refrigerated until you open it. So pretty sure this is the last one we got. Let's move down to the veggie drawer. And we usually keep this pretty well stocked with fresh veggies. I have an onion in here. This is just something I got when I used to sell Tupperware. Back in the day, guys, we're talking probably, it was before Briley was born. So we have tons of Tupperware. So I've got a half an onion in here. We do have some jalapenos because I like to make jalapeno poppers. Also have sweet little peppers. And I pick these up at either Costco or I pick up the big bags at Sam's. I do have a green pepper. And then in the very back, you can see I have the little individuals. These are gonna be your avocados. So just mashed avocado. Chris likes these, he forgot to take them with him. I need to be eating on these. But these are going to be something that I'm pretty sure we picked up at Costco last time we went. My fruit drawer. Not so much a fruit drawer. This is my keto-friendly bread substitute drawers. So I do have the Missions Carb Balance Tortillas in here. I do have some of the Kiss My Keto bread. And then I have some of your Aldi bagels back here. Rumor has it that the Aldi bagels are a limited time thing and they're not gonna have those anymore. So that's all I've got left. Then there's also this little drawer. It is called the cool drawer. And yes, it is cool because what I keep in this is my keto friendly snacks and there are lots of them. So these are just some little storage bins, organizational bins that I had picked up at Dollar Tree several years ago. 
So the majority of all of this in here is going to be my Lolly's granola. I love the Lolly's granola or cookie clusters. They have so many amazing flavors. They're absolutely delicious. You know, anything that I'm talking about, I'm going to have discount codes for you all in the description box. So always make sure you check that out. And then this is another one of the items that recently came in the keto crate. These are the snacks that have the ganache center and they're going to be a coconut sort of like a macaroon and these are going to be keto paleo plant-based this is an amazing company i have actually been eating these since the beginning they have one that's green tea flavored that's delicious now right here in the middle is going to be like my sweet treats you can see i keep some of my perfect keto bars in here there are built bars we do occasionally eat those I do have some cookies by the Great Low Carb Bread Company. These are going to be your chocolate chunk cookies. Smart Cakes. I love Smart Cakes. Oh my goodness. I really need to order some. I only have a couple left. And then I do have some Quest bars and things like that. Then over here, I do have additional snacks. Now, these are going to be things that I grab when I want something more lunch but quick. This is going to be something that I picked up recently at Walmart. It is going to have your pepperonis, your cheese, and your olives in it. When we leave the house, I usually pack a little cooler with drinks and things like that in it. Sometimes I like to take little snacks like this so that I won't be tempted. So I have that one. I think I have another one. Yeah, I do. The Paninos. I love Paninos. You can make these yourself, but I like to have them just in case I need them for a snack to throw in that little cooler. And then, of course, my Duke's Shorty Sausages. This is the original, and they do have these in a lot of different flavors. I snack on these pretty often. And this is my last cheese. This is the one that I picked up at Sam's, and it's going to have the Herbardi and Gouda. Last one. Guys, I need to go to Sam's. And then these are the Jack Leaks that we picked up at Costco. It's going to have a cheese stick in it and a beef stick in it. Honestly, not going to lie. Not a fan of these. I keep meaning to give these to Kerrigan's boyfriend because I think he'd like to snack on them. But I wasn't a huge fan. And I love Jack Links. This is what the side door looks like. Again, there's lots going on in here. And some of you may not like these types of items. But they work for us. Now, one of my favorite new items is the Spicy Pickle Spears. These are from Walmart. They're great value. They do have a little bit of kick to them. Delicious. And then this is the spaghetti or marinara sauce that I pick up. It's going to be your no sugar added and it's also going to be from Walmart and then I do like to pick up some pepperonis these are a great size to add to your little pizza bowls or if you're going to make pizza bites I do have a recipe for pizza bites have you all tried those I'm gonna link it for you all too it is such a quick delicious recipe and the kids love the pizza bites minced garlic because we talk about the fact that I add garlic to pretty much every single dish that I make this one is gonna be in the extra virgin olive oil not really expensive and I picked this up at Aldi okay just some staples regular mustard we have white vinegar back in the back is the golden pepperoncinis another Aldi item for some reason I ended up with two Worcestershire sauce and and I don't really use these that often, but they're just hanging out in here collecting condensation. Here's one of the yum yum sauces that Kerrigan picked up a while back. What is the date on that? Do I need to throw that away? Nope. It says 2022. So apparently this is still good. Honestly, did not taste too well. I have a yum yum sauce recipe that's keto friendly that tastes much better than this. But she was being impatient. I'm not saying that this is keto friendly, but it's in my fridge. Primal Kitchen makes one of my favorite barbecue sauces. This is the golden barbecue sauce. It's got like a mustard base to it. They have lots of great products. Check out Primal Kitchen. I don't have a discount code for them, but they're in a lot of grocery stores now. For my pizza in a bowl, I also like to add the banana pepper rings. We like condiments. Okay, so we have the zero sugar roasted garlic barbecue sauce. Chris likes this one. And then we've been trying a lot of the G Hughes, the orange ginger marinade, sugar-free ketchup. And then they also have a dipping sauce, which is going to be the famous clucking sauce. And then this is one of the hot sauces that we have. Chris likes hot sauce. I'm not a huge fan of hot sauce. I like spicy, just not hot sauces. If you can find this anywhere, pick it up, especially if you like spicy. So this is going to be your sliced hot cherry peppers. It's got the green and the red ones in there. This is so good. 
And then I think the rest of it's pickles, pickles, and more pickles because you know I love me some pickles. So we have the dill gherkins. We have the sugar-free canes. This is going to be your sweet pickle relish. I have some of the Wickles pickles. This is like a little peppered pickle relish. So good. And then what else is back there? Oh, I also have some chili spiced olives. For some reason, I feel like this is going to be a 45 minute long video. So this is the other door. Top is going to be my skincare. Refrigerate your skincare people, especially if it's vitamin C. So I do keep my timeless skincare in here. And then I do keep a little thing of lemon juice on hand to have just in case I'm out of lemons. Then over here, we're going to have the Walmart sugar-free whipped topping. Hidden Valley Ranch because, come on people, we're in the South. We like ranch on everything. I like to make my own ranch, but the kids, they're instant gratification kind of kids. So if for some reason I don't have any made, then they'll eat this. You see it. I have some Chick-fil-A sauce in here, and this is the Polynesian sauce. I don't really eat it that often, but when Preston's here, he likes to eat it. So I do keep it on hand. I do have people in my life that aren't keto. And you can see this has got a lot of sugar in it, but that's going to be per two tablespoons spoons and then I have one of the old bay hot sauces this one is a limited edition it's amazing then we have the last row so I do have some flax seed down here we like to add that to some recipes some Hershey syrup it is going to be the zero sugar I do have some of the keto friendly good good jams this one is going to be blueberry and then the one back here is going to be apricot you can order these on Amazon. They're hard to find. I recently found them at Ingles. They are going to be stevia sweetened and they're going to be really good macros. So if you're looking for a jam, this one's a good one. If I can find one on Amazon, I'll link it. Then our favorite syrup is going to be the sugar-free keto Lakanto maple flavored syrup. Then right here in the back, this is going to be some Vermont pure maple syrup. Definitely not keto friendly, but we keep this for sentimental value. Value. we picked it up in Vermont so it holds a special place in our refrigerator that took longer than a house tour if you want to see a freezer tour if you want to see a pantry tour if you want to see a second refrigerator tour remember we have the drink fridge outside comment below what you want to see next and I think that's all I got for you guys thank you all so much for watching I hope everyone has an amazing day and tell me what's in your fridge <laughs>